being away from my parents doesn't mean that I have to just be a person that is just lost within himself. The person, the man I am today has put me in a position where I can say that my life has been difficult, but I've come a long way. I was about 16, 17, I was getting in and out of trouble, being a bit silly. I started drinking quite a bit with my friends. I started taking drugs. I was on tag, which, so I couldn't really leave the house. It felt like I was in jail and I couldn't really do anything. But it was a horrible feeling. I had no meaning in life. What's the next step in your plan? You've, you've got your job now. What's the next step for Curtis? I just want to get higher up, higher up, earn more money, yeah. and just be stable. Do you know what I mean? Not have to worry about money. Yeah. That's the biggest issue. Just worrying about money constantly. My name is Indigo. I'm 19 years of age, and I live in a hostel. And if it wasn't for your help, <laughs> if it wasn't for your help, I don't think I'd be there at all. Like, I just think I'll just, just not bother. I just wanted to give up at one point. Like, I didn't, I just I couldn't be bothered, if you get what I mean. Like, I just I had no more energy. Like, I just, like, you know what? You know, there's one times that I was just crying. I was like, oh, yeah. I can't stand this anymore. I'm tired of just applying for jobs and not getting the jobs or, do you know what I mean? Because, you know, you get to a certain stage, well, because I'm still young anyway, you get to a certain stage where you're just like, okay, this is it. Like, I don't care anymore. No this is where it all began. This is where my life was at, like, back in the day. Friends were so just chill over there because one of my friends lived there. We would hang out here, we would walk about over there. It wasn't safe coming around there at times. Peer pressure, fake friends, all the fights, all the gangs, you know, everything. It start, started from this place right here. It's so, it's so big, it's actually unbelievable. And literally, if anything was to actually happen, no one would know. My life was just a mess, it was just a tip. Like, I was just, I was stubborn, well, yeah, I was stubborn, I had a really bad attitude, anger management, everything you could think of. There's pain in everybody, but some more than others. If you're struggling to get to where you want to get to, it's like a train taking you to your destination. You need that person. You depend on that train. I've been at St. Giles for about six months, seven months, and it's been eventful. St. Giles has helped me to get into an actual college that I'm interested in doing the subjects in that college. Just haven't looked back since. This is the sort of thing I do on my course. It's all about music production and artist development. I feel like music has helped for me to express myself and express my feelings without hurting anybody without without causing anybody any harm. So that's why I think music's the course for me. Let's let's get it on. So so this is the pit. He here is the pit. Let's get it on. D flat or E flat. It was just a moment of relief to know that somebody's there to help and not just just not there by yourself doing nothing. If I I wasn't helped by St. Charles through my education and into my education probably be a lost cause so they are important and they have helped me with my education by just being there in general like a parent should. 
the job centre referred me to St Charles's Trust and the Choices Project. I had a phone call off Jess, my caseworker, who I've always wanted to be a football coach. Now, since I've met St Charles's Trust, they sort of let that dream become reality. Completed my sports coaching level one and my sports leaders award. Now I actually got qualifications and I got the experience and it's opened up so many different windows. One touch with your chest to control, a nice pass back. That's it, brilliant. I've known uh, Morgan for about two, three years now. Um, I knew him when he first started coaching. I knew he wanted to go abroad and work with, uh, work with children. It's the same thing that I want to do. He's definitely got potential to go far. And it's great to see him getting the opportunity as well, because there's not a lot of opportunities in Barry either. So it's good to see young coaches getting involved and going far as well, especially when it's one of my friends. Now I'm the Morgan that I am. I've seen what, where I went wrong. I've corrected that now, and I've, I've had my fun, but now it's to get on my life properly and do exactly what I really wanted to do, which was football coaching. So I'm here where I am now, which is the best feeling ever. Plan of action for today? We well, starting work tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking if we go to the train station, we can get your training bus pass, your monthly pass. Yeah. Then that's sorted. You don't have to worry about the finances for that until you get paid or anything. Oh yeah, how much is it for a monthly bus and train pass? Smashed there you it go. there. Smashed yeah. it there. You got trust it me. now. Yeah. yeah. All ready and set for tomorrow then. This is the main the main spot where everything used to happen. This like fighting, drugs, everything. I just remember you just we made so much money on just here. It was unbelievable. Yeah. So I had any money I wanted. Oh, do you know like where you can say no? Yeah. Like like you have the confidence to say no instead of just being drawn into it all the time. And that takes a lot of guts, does that, to stand up and that, say no? Yeah, but obviously it's just maturity, do you know what I mean? You just grow up yeah. and that. I think I think so differently, like if if I get angry, like even at someone, I think if I hit him and I hurt him, I'll feel bad, do you know what I mean? But back yeah. then I didn't. But now I, I, I would, I feel bad, man. Yeah, so would you say you've got more of a conscience now yeah, than what you definitely. did there? Yeah, definitely. Are you proud of yourself now, then? Of course I am. Yeah, I think you should be. You've done really well. Yeah. You've come a long way. You've helped me a lot, though. Thanks. You have. I'm not just saying that, you have, honestly. Yeah. What's changed from then till now is I've got more motivated people around me, like people that are willing to help me. It's like you can see literally the great city of London. I think St Giles are doing a re they're doing a lot for me. Do you know what I mean? Like they've done so much for me. I don't even know where to start. St Giles will help you look for the job, and they still standing. Like they still there with you. Like whenever you need them. Even when I did add a job, I was always still like talking to Miriam. You know, like she always here. She all asked me how's my day going, and you know, just things like that. And it's like I really appreciate that and. I really do appreciate that. I can go into an interview just saying I believe in myself and go into the interview and smash the interview just by saying that. And that is absolutely great because that wasn't me before, honestly speaking. I wouldn't say I believe in myself because I haven't got the confidence to say that. No courage to say that either. So, that's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of courage and a lot of encouragement.